300 years ago, over 5,000 pirates thrived in the Bahamas. The golden age of piracy was short-lived, but the memories of these times are everywhere here in Nassau. We are now on the outside in the front of Pirates of Nassau, our museum. Well, the Bahamas was a place of paradise. What, made it, what even made it more better because all the shanty towns were designed for sailors. But due to the fact that the pirates were bringing in a more lucrative business, it turned into a pirate's haven. There wasn't no pirates specifically from the Bahamas, but they all became famous in the Bahamas. Pirates were people like me and yourself. They were all privateers. By the time as the British colony was finished with them and then had no more work for them to do, they had to find some type of means to survive. So since the Crown then wasn't giving them anything to do, they had to go there and take for themselves. As cruel and savage as we were, we had our own rules and regulations too. Because in order for you to sail a ship, you have to be well disciplined. And trust me, you'd be surprised to know how you can have such savage, cruel men as disciplined as it is. Because, hey, if you didn't rule, we would maroon you. And nobody wants to be marooned. My favorite pirate story will be about Stad Bonnet. He was a major. He ran into piracy. He didn't know how to sail. He didn't know how to operate a ship. He didn't know anything about modern time. But he had a nagging wife. For a man to leave his nagging wife to go in a life of piracy, that touched my heart. Pirate Republic, a brewery and a bar just opened. You would think that piracy here is mere marketing. Well, yes, but not quite, as we are reminded with a bit of literature. Well, it's a very famous Mark Twain quote. Now and then, we had hoped that if we lived and were good, God would permit us to be pirates. We put that up there because we think everybody secretly has some hidden desire to be a pirate at some point in their life. And so I think it's their sense of real democracy on board a pirate ship. Um, and then of course their great exploits that have survived the 300 years since they sailed around in our waters. Nassau was the Republic of Pirates in the early 1700s. It's, it's an authentic part of our history and we're trying to bring it to life in a new way, um, an interactive way, and it's part of our brand, it's part of our beer names, it's part of our experience and our ambience, so we do take it seriously. <laughs> one, two, one, and you pivot. 